My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have calmed and quieted myself in silence. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a little child, I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. Yahweh, remember David and all the hardships he endured, the oath he swore to you, his vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not enter tent or house, will not climb into bed, will not allow myself to sleep, not even to close my eyes, till I've found a place for Yahweh, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. Let us go to the sanctuary of the Lord and worship at the footstool of his throne. Go up your way to your resting place, along with the ark that is the symbol of your strength. May your priests be robed in godliness, your loyal and faithful servants shout for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not reject your anointed. Yahweh has sworn to David and will never take back his word. I promise that I will set one of your descendants upon your throne if they observe my covenant and the instructions I have taught them. Your royal line will continue forever and ever. For the Lord has chosen Jerusalem. He's desired it for his home. This is my resting place forever, he said. I will live here. This is the home I desired. I will bless this city and make it prosperous. I will satisfy its poor with food. I will clothe its priests with godliness. And its faithful servants will sing and shout for joy. Here I will increase the power of David. My anointed one will be a light for my people. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but he will be a glorious king and his crown shall flourish. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. For harmony is as precious as the anointing oil that was poured over Aaron's head that ran down his beard and onto the border of his robe. Harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. All the kings of the earth give thanks to you, Yahweh, when they hear the promises you make. They sing of Yahweh's ways, Great is the glory of Yahweh. Sublime as he is, Yahweh looks on the humble, but the proud he picks out from afar. Though I'm surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies to their fury. You stretch out your hand and the power of your right hand saves me.